there. My name's Danny Wallace and welcome to Schools Out. Now, if you were paying attention at school, this should be the easiest half an hour of your life as you sit there at home showing off your incredible knowledge of history, English, maths and science. And if you weren't paying attention, there is a question about metalwork you might get right. Now, <laughs> taking part in tonight's show are three star pupils, each desperately hoping now, I can see in their eyes, they're hoping they get the metalwork question. They'll compete against each other for a chance to win top prizes for a school of their choice. And they are. From the all-boys Solihull Boys School in Solihull, <laughs> and boasting an impressive eight O-levels, a man whose teacher said, if his uncommitted and reluctant attitude is perpetuated, it will render his further presence unnecessary. <laughs> Please welcome TV's Richard Hammond. <laughs> Next, from Pusey Vale School, where she amassed six GCSEs, a woman whose teacher said she could apply herself better if she stops chatting and messing around in class. Lately, though, she has been applying herself very diligently to the skeleton bobsleigh, so much so that she came back from Turin with Britain's only medal. Please welcome Olympic silver medal winner, Shelley Rubman. Yeah. Finally, from Worksop College in Nottinghamshire, <laughs> armed with eight O-levels, a man whose teachers said he has proved to be an interesting character <laughs> who perhaps never came up to expectations. <laughs> And they went on to describe his performance at school as disappointing, dismal, depressing, undistinguished, and, once again, dismal. <laughs> Please welcome broadcaster and man about town, Richard Bacon. <laughs> so, settle down, no talking, as we play Schools Out. Now, frankly, round one is probably the easiest round in a quiz show ever. Every single viewer should get every single question right. It's a quick-fire round, five points for a correct answer, and don't let your concentration waver, because I will be coming to you at random. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, uh, yeah. what? Yes, sir. Mate, sir. Good work. <laughs> if you're ready, then we'll begin. Maths, what is a half times a half? Hammond. A quarter. It is a quarter. Science, the gas CO2 is better known as what? Rudman. Carbon dioxide. It's correct. Geography. Which country is this? Bacon. Uh, Italy. Italy is correct. Yes, famous, of course, for the Italians. <laughs> RE, followers of which faith would worship in this building? Bacon. Uh, they were uh, <laughs> Islam. Islam, are you absolutely sure? <laughs> um, Sikhism. I'm sorry, I've got to move on. The answer is Judaism. It's the first time the words bacon and Judaism have been in the same question. <laughs> That was a synagogue. Maths, what is 61 minus 23? Rudman. Oh, uh, Basic maths, Rudman. I'm gonna... 49, I'm gonna guess. You are guessing and you will guess wrong. It's 38. Science, what... I can't believe I said that. ...is this? Hammond. It's a... Oh, it's a... I, it's I a, it a it is. Is it a, pe it's a it's Petri dish? A Petri dish Petri is goodness, correct. You're one of those hands-up people. <laughs> 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 Art, which two primary colours do you mix to make purple? Rudman. Um, two colours. Red and... and... Quick. Green. It's red and blue, I'm sorry. That hurts. <laughs> English. In the sentence, the fat cat slept peacefully, which word is an adjective? Hammond? Uh, 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 peacefully. Uh, oh, fat, actually. Fat is correct. Geography. Which oh. scale is used to measure the magnitude of earthquakes? Rudman. Richter scale. Richter scale is correct. Science. Which organ of the human body is this? Bacon. Uh, that is uh, Quick. liver. The what? The, uh, <laughs> kidney. The kidney's correct. History. Which king commissioned the Doomsday Book? Hammond. <laughs> that was King... <laughs> king? Commissioned the Doomsday Book. That I'm gonna was move king... on, I'm sorry. King John. It's, it's William the Conqueror. Maths, what is the square root of 169? Bacon. Uh... Quick. Okay. Uh, it's, uh... Quickly. <laughs> 27. 27 is incorrect, it's 13. That was just a number. Stay where you are, please. <laughs> Stay the number. I just know... That like bell was one. for me, not for you. So, at the end of round one, the scores are as follows. Well, bottom of the class, it's Rudman and Bacon with ten apiece, but top of the class with fifteen, it's Hammond. Concentrate. <laughs>